G'day guys, it's Jono here. I'm just going to quickly show you how to create cameras in Quill using spawn areas. I'm just going to mimic this camera move where I start inside the snow globe and I kind of zoom out until I can see this Christmas tree. The way you do that is use spawn areas. You should have one by default. Um, what you do, I'm just going to quickly change the name of it to camera one. And then what you can do is move into where you want the first camera move. So that's inside the snow globe. You add a transform key and press this button, which is save camera to this viewpoint. Basically that sets the camera to mimic what you're seeing. So what I'm going to do next is zoom out to my, where I want the camera to end, uh, move down the timeline to maybe four seconds, add a keyframe, do the same thing. And then what you need to do when you preview the timeline is make sure this is this button selected. So preview viewpoint during playback. So tap that, press play, and you've got an awesome camera move. And you can change the easing on that just as you would normally with other keyframes um, or the transfer keys. And if you wanted to add another camera move, you just add a new spawn area and do the exact same thing. So change out the camera two. Um, quickly hide that. Um, I'm going to start over here, add a keyframe, save camera's viewpoint, move down the timeline, maybe move up the tree, um, add a keyframe, press that button, and if I press play, you'll notice it's still following camera one. All you got to do is, next to the camera you want, press the spawn icon, and make sure you tick set as initial spawn area. So now that's on camera two. I'm gonna press play, it should follow camera two. Let's give that a go. There you go, beautiful. Um, what you can also do is if you press the toggle the visibility, you should see that there's like a desktop and like a reference of where you're standing. That's, that is, um, you can manipulate that too by pressing the transform button here and you can kind of manually move where you want the camera rather than, you know, setting the camera to the viewpoint, you can move it yourself. Um, so I hope that's been useful and um, yeah, thanks. Have fun and see you next time.